In today's episode, you will learn how to use DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor with Raspberry Pi 3, B, and save the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit in a TXT file along with the date and time information for later analysis. Few days back, I used the same temperature sensor with Arduino and displayed the temperature on a 16 into 2 LCD. So far, I have covered different temperature sensors like THD11, which can monitor temperature and humidity, BMP180, which can monitor temperature, pressure, and altitude, and K type thermocouple, which can measure temperatures up to 1000 centigrade. I will provide the links in the description if in case you want to watch these tutorials. In today's episode, we will cover number 1 DS18B20 waterproof digital temperature sensor introduction, number 2 interfacing, number 3 programming and finally number 4 testing. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number 1 Raspberry Pi 3B plus or you can also use any other version of the Raspberry Pi but I will be using Raspberry Pi 3B plus. Number 2. A 5 volt adopter. Number 3. DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor. Number 4. 330 ohm resistor. Number 5. Some jumper wires and finally number 6. A power bank. This is optional if you have a 5 volt adopter then you don't need this power bank. But today I will be using this power bank to power up my Raspberry Pi. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. One wire temperature sensor like the DS18B20 or devices that can measure temperature with a minimal amount of hardware and wiring. These sensors use a digital protocol to send accurate temperature readings directly to your development board without the need of an analog to digital converter or other extra hardware. You can get one wire sensor and different form factors like waterproof and high temperature props. These are perfect for sensing temperature in many different projects and applications. And since these sensors use the one wire protocol you can even have multiple of them connected to the same pin and read all their temperature values independently. DS18B20 has three wires VCC. The operating voltage is 3 to 5 volts. In my case, I will use 3.3 volts. Data wire. We usually connect a resistor between the data wire and VCC wire. This is a 330 ohm resistor, but you can also use a 4.7K resistor ground wire. This wire is connected uh, with the Raspberry Pi ground pin which is pin number 6. This temperature sensor is capable of measuring the temperature ranging from minus 55 centigrade to 125 centigrade. Connect the red wire which is the VCC with 3.3 volt pin of the Raspberry Pi which is pin number 1. Connect the grey wire which is the ground with pin number 6 of the Raspberry Pi. And finally connect the data wire which is the yellow wire with pin number 7 of the Raspberry Pi. We are done with the interfacing. Now let's power up a Raspberry Pi. Now we are ready for the programming. As you can see, no keyboard and mouse is connected and it has no physical connection with the laptop or an LCD. Because as I explained in my previous tutorials, we will be using the SSH network using the Buddy software to write and execute programs. So I recommend you should watch my previous tutorials. The links are given in the description, which completely explains how to set up your SSH network using Wi-Fi. Open the PuTTY software, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and click open. Enter Pi as your login name 
and Raspberry as your password and click enter. As you can see, we are logged in. Use clear command to clear the screen. We will need to enable the one wire interface before the Pi can receive data from the sensor. To enable the one wire interface, simply write sudo nano slash boot slash config dot txt and press enter. Write this line at the end of this file. dt ola is equal to w1-gpio. Press Ctrl O to save this file and press Ctrl X to exit. Now the next step is to reboot the Raspberry Pi. For this simply type sudo reboot and press enter. But I have already restarted. After you restart Raspberry Pi, login again using Pi as your login name and Raspberry as your password. Then type these commands. Now change the directory by simply typing cd slash sys slash bus slash w1 slash devices and press enter. Then use the ls command as you can see 28-0218-3302e 5FF is my temperature sensor while in your case it can be different. So in my case I will type cd28-0218-3302 e 5 f Now to display the raw temperature reading simply type cat w1 underscore slave. As you can see, this is the raw temperature in Celsius without the decimal point. So now we are confident. Our wiring is correct and our temperature sensor is working. Now we are ready for the programming. Now let's write a very basic program to read this temperature sensor and save the values in Celsius and Fahrenheit in a TXT file. Now let's clear the screen ls command to display all the files and folders is you can see there is a YouTube folder which I created for saving my program files. Let's open this folder by typing cd YouTube and press enter and again use the ls command to check what's inside this folder. ldr.py is a file that I created in my last tutorial for detecting the day and night. Now let's make another file with a name temp and extension.py. Simply type sudo nano temp.py and press enter. As you can see an editor is opened. Start by importing os globe time and date time. Now we will use all those commands which we used in the terminal. Then we make two user-defined functions for reading the temperature and converting it into the Celsius and Fahrenheit and then add the date and time with each reading and create a file with the name document.txt and save it in YouTube folder. This file will consist of the temperature data and date and time information. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. Our programming is completed. Press Ctrl O to save the file and press Ctrl X to exit the editor.
use ls command to display the files. As you can see, a file with the name temp.py is created. Now let's run this program by typing python temp.py and press enter. We have an error. Let's fix this error. Open the file. Save the file and exit the editor. As you can see, there is another error. Let's fix this. As you can see, the R is missing. Save and exit. Now let's again run this program by typing python temp.py. Now you can see temperature on the screen. If I hold this sensor in my hand, you will see an increase in the temperature. As you can see the temperature is increasing. Press Ctrl Z to stop the program and let's open the file document consisting of the temperature data along with the date and time information. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.